Good morning, good morning, and welcome, family. Welcome to our Marketplace Daily Devotion. We're going to try this again this morning. Amen. I was taping, and all of a sudden, the video just stopped right in the middle. <laughs> so I had to figure out what was going on there. But I am back, so uh, get your coffee, your tea. Amen. We're going to get this out because unlike the last two days, amen, this is uh, an encouraging word for you. I know that, you know, no one wants to be the bearer of bad news or doom and gloom, but you know what? Uh, you can't take the good with uh, the, uh, the good without, you know, knowing some of the bad and what to expect. And let me tell you, it wasn't really all bad because even though yesterday we were talking about extraordinary plagues and you were like, you know, who want to hear about plagues? You know, we just coming through COVID who wants to hear about anything like that and then you know the day before that I was talking about the curse of disobedience listen in this season to to understand where, where God wants you to be and where we're going you know you have to know what what are the consequences when I am not in alignment with the word of God what are the consequences so you can't always just be wanting to hear what's good you got to know what can happen if you don't do what is good okay so i do you know i do want to say for those of you who kind of just had to tolerate it for the last two days you know i i'm not one that like to bring bad news but you know what Today, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a good devotion because the Lord, amen, is telling you to be of good courage because why? He is with you. He is with you. I don't care what storms are coming. I don't care what is going on in your life or in this nation. Understand, if you are God's child, he is with you and he will protect you. So go ahead and get your coffee, your tea. Amen. I was so excited about what God is saying in today's devotion. Amen. Talking about being of good courage. So we're going to be uh, reading from Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter and the 6th verse. And we're almost to the end of Deuteronomy. We have been in this book, it seems like, forever to me because, you know, my devotion that I'm writing this year is talking about how to overcome your fears. And God gave me this to do at the end of the year because I realized in December 2022 that I was dealing with a lot of fears that I didn't realize that had slipped in some kind of way. And God does not give us a spirit of fear. Uh, and so I was asking and questioning him, Lord, why am I having this, this, this sensing this spirit of fear? And he says, because so many of his people are are dealing with this right now. And so he wanted me to do this daily devotional that you happen to be a part of me writing it each day uh, before I have it published. Amen. We're, I'm writing it each day as, as I load these, these videos on. So it's going to be a challenge for me for 365 days to do this every day. But that's okay because God is with me like he is with you. So, uh, you know, so we're almost to the end of the book of Deuteronomy. And this is a book where Moses, has been pleading with the people of God, the children of Israel. He's been exhorting them. He's been encouraging them. He's been provoking them to remember their God. Remember the God who brought you out of bondage, who brought you out of slavery. Remember him. Remember how he fought for you in the wilderness. Remember, amen, his chastisement uh, when, when he said no one over 20 would enter the promised land. And now they're at, at, just before the, at, right at the break of going into the promised land. And Moses is stressing what they need to uh, be aware of and what they need to remember. So Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter in the sixth verse says, and be strong and of, of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. Who is them? All those ones that had, you know, that were squatting in the promised land. There were giants. And, you know, the, the people of Israel, their stature was, was small. They wasn't really warriors or fighters because they didn't need to be because God was their warrior. And so he was telling them, don't be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he is the one who goes with you and he will not fail thee. He will not leave thee, nor will he forsake thee. And dear heart, I'm here to tell you that he will not fail you. He will not leave you, nor will he forsake you either. And so the definition of courage in the Hebrew is amat, amaz. I believe it's amaz, A-W-M-A-T-S, amaz. And it means to be strong, to be alert, be vigilant, courageous bold, to be strengthened, to be secure in oneself, in, in your heart, 
you know, know in whom you believe. Be, be secure to be assured. These are some of the words that go with that were courageous. So in this chapter, you know, we have Moses, hallelujah. He's at the end of life here, hallelujah. He's announcing that he is now 120 years old. Amen. Can you just imagine living to be 120 years old? Amen. I'm claiming it. I don't know about you, but I'm claiming it. I have people telling me, amen, it looks like you're aging backwards. My husband was telling me just the other day. He said, honey, it's a, it looks like you're aging backwards. I said, well, I declare Sarah anointing over my life. You know, when God renewed Sarah's, Sarah's youth and she was able to have a baby at old age, I am not uh, saying I want another child. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I would like to have the youth back, okay? And so I am doing whatever I can do in my power to be obedient to the Lord and to do what he would have me to do because I want to be, amen, I want to be, I, whatever God is doing in this season, I want to be in the number. I don't want him to do it without me. And it's going to take strength. Amen. He said, I call the old because they're wise and God knows, you know, I'm in my 60s. Uh, but he said, I call the young because they're strong and I want to be both. I want to be wise and I want to be strong. So I'm a little sore today, amen, from working out in the gym, these muscles, because, you know, I've been trying to get, get I've been trying to get it in, get it in. Okay. So God is a good God. And so here Moses is announcing that he is 120 years old and states that he can no longer go out and come in. He said, Moses said, I can't be, I can't go out there and fight the battles no more. You know, I, I can't do it. I, it's, my, it's my resting days now. And so he also announces what God had told him concerning him not crossing over into the promised land. Now this, you know, it kind of, Ooh, it kind of makes me sad when I hear that because, you know, and I know, you know, God, God is God. He's sovereign. He's God, I, you know, but, you know, it kind of reminds me of people who worked all their lives to get to an age of retirement and then, you know, they die before they get to enjoy retirement, right? At 65, 66, 67, you know, I do Medicare insurance. And so I come across people like that, uh, that these things happen to all the time. And it's just, it's saddening. And so I'm thinking about here, Moses has, 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 you know, he's been there doing what God has called him to do to lead these people, you know, and now, you know, because of, you know, him allowing them to provoke him to do something that God didn't tell him to do. Now he can't enter the promised land. And, and so that was kind of sad. But, you know, he's announcing this because he's, you know, he's okay. He, he's made peace with that. And so he is wanting to assure the children of Israel that Joshua, who was his predecessor, Joshua would lead them uh, to, uh, you know, uh, from this point. Joshua would be the one that will lead them from this point. But he also wanted them to know that God would be the one who protects them and fight for them. So even though Joshua was leading them, it was God. <laughs> it was old Jehovah who was going to be protecting and fighting for them. So he encourages them to be strong and of good courage. Fear not for the Lord God will go with you. He will go with you. This is what Moses is telling them. And I want to encourage you today to let you know to fear not because the Lord, your God, will go with you. Amen. He is going to go with you. Well, I don't care what it, what it is he's telling you to do in this season, whether it's to start your own business, whether it's to step out on faith. Remember this vision that I told you that my friend had some 20 some years ago where she climbed the ladder and she got to the top above the clouds and the ladder ended and she heard this voice out of heaven saying, come up, come on, come on. She says, I can't, I can't go any further because the ladder has ended. And he says, oh, from, from where you're at now, you're going to have to come up higher by faith. In this season, it's going to take your faith, sweetheart. It's going to take your faith stepping out into and what, you, what seems to be nothing uh, until, you know, God, uh, you know, in, until it materializes into something. Because God will, until it manifests, is what the word I'm looking for, until it manifests right before your eyes into something. And so he's letting them know that God will protect you. Okay? God will protect you. Hallelujah. You have to have the assurance in your soul, that no matter what storm is coming, amen, whether it be in your own personal life or whether it be in the nation, you know, that as long as you have positioned yourself, 
amen, in this season that God, hallelujah, God will protect you, but you got to position yourself. It's all about positioning in this season. I can't stress that enough. It's all about making sure that you are positioned in this season. And if you are positioned, let me tell you, he will protect you. He will not fail you. He is our security. He is our hope. Hallelujah. Because why? He is Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi is the Lord God, our banner. He is our security. He is our hope. He is the banner and when, uh, that, that we need to be waving. Hallelujah. So that people, when they see us, they can wonder, who is that? Who, who is that person? Who is that lady? Who is that man? What God are they serving? Who's the God that they're serving with? where they're not down and out, broke, busted, and disgusted. Why? Because they serve a God who is great, a God who is almighty, a God who is fighting for them because he is, amen, uh, Jehovah Nisi. He is also your Jehovah Roha. He is our strength. He's the one that protects you and leads you and deliver his people. He is Jehovah Roha. Being in the right position, as I said, with God is everything in this season. One of the most courageous scriptures in the Bible, I'm just about through here, is Daniel's 11th chapter and the 32, 32nd verse. It is actually one of my favorite scriptures. And you know what it says? It says, the people that know their God, <laughs> you got it. The people that know their God shall do great exploits. Do you know your God? That's the question. Do you know your God? Because if you know your God, you shall do great exploits. It says the word, the word exploit is spirited or heroic acts. Who is the king of glory? He is the Lord strong in battle. He is the Lord strong and mighty. And guess what? He wants to show himself strong and mighty through you. Hallelujah. Don't, let's not focus on everything negative that's going on in this world. Satan is doing his job. But are you doing your job? Hmm. Are you lifting up the name of Jesus in these times? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, he said, don't, don't be in Matthew. He tells us, you know, don't, don't be shaken. Don't be moved by the things that are going on because they are going to come. But be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So it is Friday. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm excited. And so we're going to go ahead and, and just go into a word of prayer because I want to pray for you today that, that you will know your God. And you will know that, amen, he wants to show himself mighty in you and through you. So, Father God, we just come to you today lifting up your name. We thank you for your precious, your precious name, God. Oh, God, your name that the, the reputation goes out that you're strong and mighty and you're a protector of those who worship and serve you and obey you. We thank you, Father God, for this opportunity by way of your son, Jesus, the one who laid down his life for us, Father. God, we thank you for being our shepherd, mm, the shepherd, the one who protects us, who leads us, and who fights for us, who guides us. Mm, the scripture, Psalms 23, says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. We thank you for being a good shepherd, that we don't have to want for nothing. We don't have to beg for nothing. Oh God, we thank you that you lead us beside still waters and still people. Oh God, when it seems like the world is rocky and shaky and everything is going, going to hell in a handbasket, God, we thank you that you can lead us beside the still waters and you can restore our soul. We thank you, Father God. Help us, Lord, your children, to have an ear in this season, to hear what you're speaking in this season for us to do, that we may know how to live our lives each day, hallelujah, to give you all the praise and all of the honor in your precious son, Jesus' name, 
Oh, glory, glory. I feel my help, y'all. I feel my help. Now I can start my day. <laughs> amen. I've been up for a while and I've done a lot, but amen. I don't, I, 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 I tell you, I don't feel like I can really start my day until I give God what's due him. And I give God the honor. I give him the praise because you know what? Without him, we are nothing. Without him, we are nothing. And I want you to know how much he loves you. In spite of everything, he still loves you. And there's still time. If you don't know him in the pardon of your sin, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it is still time. All you got to do is lift your hands and say, Father, come into my life. Come into my heart. Forgive me and receive me unto yourself. That's all you got to do. Make me whole. Make me anew. Make me fresh. And he will do it. Amen. So thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share on these devotions. Every day I come to you with these devotions. Somebody needs to hear that God loves them. Pass it on in Jesus' name. Amen. Smooches.